right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. Good to have you here. Say hello to Ren and Stimpy, Powder Toast Man, and Log and TV. And let's get started. This is the Oaks Works Osprey, yeah, Osprey EDX. Wow, I can't talk. And this comes by way of Andrew Halbert, who is an awesome viewer of the channel. Andrew has sent me several knives, and all of them are pretty daggone high-end knives. And he willingly just sends them to me. Uh, how cool is that? So this is kind of a mid-tech. Um, it's it's a production version of a custom by Eric. Uh, you got this awesome titanium frame lock with um, carbon fiber inlay. The inlays are done perfectly. You got this kind of, oh, I don't know, the textured pattern here. I don't know what you would call it, like uh, chain mail or diamond plate or whatever. Uh, it does have great chamfering, more jimping back here on the titanium backspacer. You got a titanium pocket clip, single screw, but inlaid into the scale. Uh, left and right, uh, both both tip up, obviously, on that clip. It is a bolster lock. You do have uh, a lock bar interface, uh, over travel stop uh, there. Great. I mean, just a well done. Now, this is made by Riot in China for Eric uh, to his exacting standards, if you will. Uh, Eric is a custom knife maker and, uh, you know, obviously has very high standards. Now, this guy comes uh, with about that much sticking out of the pocket. Uh, that clip comes in and out real well. Good retention. No problems. And it carries very slim, guys. I really enjoyed carrying this. Got plenty of room to get your hand in here. Nice and smooth on the backside. Now, you do have jimping down here on this flipper tab, but it's on the top. It's not really on the front, it's on the top. Uh, so it made me kind of wonder, is it supposed to be a push button? And yes, it can be a push button. So I think that is his intention. Uh, or you can still uh, light switch it like that if you would like. Now, I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit there. So there you go. You do have a lanyard hole, lanyard fans, all these screws, uh, especially in the backspacer, but all of the screws uh, holding the scales on, and over here are all uh, down and chamfered really well. Chamfered and uh, countersunk, that's the word I was looking for. Um, the, the pivots do stick up ever so slightly, but no problem there. Uh, I think it came in like an olive drab and this carbon fiber and I think something else. Um, I cannot find any of these in stock, guys. So I don't know what I'm going to give you as far as... Um, you know, as far as uh, a listing for it, probably from Eric's website, just so you can see the um, the uh, specs, guys. But these are not available. Um, I think they were somewhere around. I thought I saw three twenty five was a price I saw, but I am not positive. Um, this, like I said, this comes from Andrew. Now, let's take a whoa. Let's take a look at the blade. Uh, you do have uh, what amounts to a very small finger choil here. Um, you can get kind of the tip of your finger as long as you stay back. Uh, it's not a full-size finger tool. Eh, you can kind of get your full finger in there, but it's a little tight for me. Um, you know, as long as you stay back sort of with the trigger trick, you're good. You don't have any jimping up here, which is perfectly okay with me. Um, and you do have a slot up here, a fuller uh, Oaks Works logo here. And then back on this side, you have... Uh, shoot, the steel mark, which is M390, and then this is number 68, uh, Andrew bought here. Uh, very, very cool. Now, it is a ridiculous hollow grind. Very, very nicely done. You can see that hollow grind. Uh, cuts really, really well. Not quite a laser beam for me, but I think it's because Andrew has used this one quite a bit. Uh, and I don't sharpen other people's loaner knives in here, so, uh, but it did. I just cut some paper with it. That's kind of the little shards you saw there, but... Uh, really cool. You do have awesome swedging. I love. Now, this is, um, Eric says on his website, I think that this is a Hasatsu uh, blade shape, but I would call it basically uh, a drop point uh, for me. It almost has a clip pointy thing going on too, but uh, that's fine. Um, this texture here, guys, it gives you the ability to sort of grab this in a pinch grip and use it. Uh, but again, any other grip works famously. All four fingers on it and when you choke up you are you have a little bit left over uh it's a great size now i cannot use that fuller slash slot 
uh, to open the night. Well, okay, I just did. I have not been able to. That is the literally the first time I have, and I'm not going to be able to do it again now because I'm putting pressure on. Oh, I cannot believe I did that, and I cannot do it again. I have not done it once since I've had the knife until just then. Can't do it. Uh, I just keep putting pressure on the lock bar. But you saw me do it, so you guys could probably do it. I'm just a klutz. Uh, but the flipper is perfect. It, it has great action. Uh, there is just snappy action on this one. It does drop to your thumb, and then one or two little shakes gets it home. Uh, you can see it just wants to go down there uh, very much. It is. Very good and centered, as you would expect from uh, our friends over at Riot Lockup. It is about a 20. Um, no blade play, no lock rock. Solid as a rock. Very, very, very nicely done. Um, I just adore this knife, guys. It is, if you don't mind, at least for me, you know, a flipper-only knife, because I'm, I'm, I'm going to try one more time, because that, that was impressive. Yeah, I, somewhere I am putting pressure on that lock bar, and I don't even know where I am doing that. But um, anyway, this is a bolster lock. Very nicely done in that regard, guys. But look at that grind. Uh, typical uh, Riot satin. Look at that. It is beautiful. And then, of course, it is a hollow grind. Just so well done. Let's talk about the specs real quick on this one. Uh, all right. I'm trying to get it. It is. Oh, are you kidding me? Here we go. Uh, 3.25 inch blade. Uh, the overall length is seven and three eighths. Um, the closer length is 4.17. Plenty of room for me. Uh, the thickness is 0.462. And well, that's uh, of the knife, you know, the whole knife. It doesn't give you a blade thickness, unfortunately. And then it also doesn't give me a weight. So, guess what we're going to do? We're going to get the scale out and we're going to tell you guys the weight because uh, that's kind of important. All right. So, I'm going to put it right here. Wait, got to let it zero first. I'll tell you what, we'll put it where you guys, really, really? I just knocked my picture over, guys. All right, 3.10 for the weight. I'm going to put this back up. <laughs> wow, what a day. Uh, 3.10 for the weight for a three, what did I say the blade was? 3.25 inch blade. How perfect is that, guys? It is very light. Let's just look inside here. Um, dear... This is, it's just a small, thin, uh, titanium knife. You know, it doesn't, doesn't have any, uh, any milling pockets in there. It's just very light because it's so thin and so well done. I mean, it's just, and of course you've got the carbon fiber, which takes a lot of that weight out. By the way, uh, there are no, you can't feel the transitions. So well done. I really love this knife. It feels just, it wants my hand uh, to be around it. It feels good. It, it's, it's kind of, um, it's still, no, it's definitely contoured, uh, definitely contoured, not like majorly contoured. It's still flat right through here. Uh, but it just feels, look at that hollow grind. Uh, I am in love with this knife. If you can't tell, uh, very, very cool. And Andrew, I thank you so much, my friend for sending this one along for me to take a look at. So, so cool that you would do that and share the knives. Uh, with the community. Guys, let me know what you think of this one down in the comments. Give me a thumbs up and uh, hopefully you enjoyed what you saw. If you did, check us out and maybe subscribe to the channel and hit that uh, notification bell. And thank you so much for watching the Knives Fast channel.